how do we create this logo that is um, a transition from one color to the other and then we have the front side to be a third plus the fact that we have the letters standing upright while going upwards which is something we have to deal with okay for starters I will type my text for example Superman I'll make it bigger and I need to make this bold to give it some thickness I will also color it red now if I go and rotate it the letters are not upright while here the letters are still upright and I have the uphill direction so instead of actually rotating I'm gonna go to my shear tool specify the center which is here and then go up so this will actually give the letters an upward directions direction while still keeping them straight upright which is a good thing this effect is used a lot in advertising when you have the letters upright but they go uphill or downhill so that's what I have now alt move to create another and I will also create a third and you'll see why I have three in a second so this one is gonna be black and that one is gonna be red that's gonna be the back that's the front and that's the back but I want it to be smaller to create the impression that I'm going away in the distance so if I go here to Star Wars I see that this distance here is smaller than that one so I made the back one smaller to create the impression that I'm going in the distance so here I'll select this to make it smaller I'll press shift and go like that I can still change this later if I like the important thing is for these two to be the same all right so I'll select one of them say this one and go to my blend tool and click on the other one now I need to edit so I'll double click I can choose specified steps let's say 100 steps and I will get the smooth transition if I press OK I see that the red one is above the black one I'm getting something strange all right I'm gonna change the colors to make this a bit more clear this is what I'm working with the blend here I will select the red one and just make it yellow all right and this one also so anyway now I see that the yellow one is above the black one so if I grab the yellow one and drag it down all right down here though while still in the other one while still in the blend I will see now that the black is above all right so it matters which one is above the other one if I did it before I could press control left bracket and right bracket to change the order but since I already did the blend I have to change the order from down here all right so that's what I have I can now grab the yellow from down here and change its position for example I can bring it down to create this or that okay I like this so I'm gonna keep it maybe like that okay this is also nice and uh, now I will bring in the first one and place it above the other one but it needs to be placed above the whole blend so I will grab it from down here and I'll place it above the blend and now by nudging it into place I'm gonna get my effect so the one in the front is not blended with the one in the back no it's a separate object that I impose over the other one to create this effect 